Hi everyone, my name is Charlie, and today is the second day of Vlogmas. And I've got a cup of coffee, again. I don't usually go to Costa more than once a week. Usually, it's me and my mother, on a Wednesday, go out around lunchtime, or you go out when you're doing your nan's shopping, and you just fancy having a few minutes to yourself. Sometimes we would chat over... Well, for the majority of the last year, we've talked about the second Doris book and writing that. Good morning, Mr. Magpie. And what we're going to write after. And um, talked about where we were going on holiday and stuff like that. But this, today, I am on my second cup of coffee of the week. No, it's my third cup of coffee of the week. Because I also had one when I got to work on Monday. Now, you might be asking me, Charlie, isn't that a bit frivolous? Let's try and get some light in. Isn't that a bit... It, that's not working. <laughs> isn't that a bit expensive? And yes, it is. It is much too expensive for me to be spending that much money on coffee this week. I could go into the shop and get it th there for free. And I haven't done that. And I haven't done that simply because... I am an idiot, but I like spending some time in my car now. It's quite warm in here, and I like, as I've said before, to stay in until the warmth's all gone. And also because I can read in the car, I could do that inside, but it always feels like I'm at work and should be doing something. And I get here an hour earlier because the traffic gets that bad and congested. So I like to take the time to do something. So, like, I read 60 pages of The Shepherd's Life on Monday, and yesterday I made a video. Today I'm making another video. And so, yeah, I haven't gone in for the coffee. And anyway, let's get to the point of why we're buying coffee for the third time this week. So, basically, my insomnia has returned. Now, I have suffered with insomnia since I was a child. I can remember being in year five and getting so stressed out about school that every Sunday more, well, every Sunday night, the day before I'd be going back to school on the Monday, I would be in bed in absolute floods of tears, completely breaking my heart because I couldn't sleep. And at five, the problems that were going through my head were doing maths the next day and trying to remember all my sums and all this other stuff to do with school, which now seems completely small and not and insignificant. That's the word I'm looking for. Seems really insignificant. But it was there. And I can remember um, being absolutely terrified about school and so stressed out that I couldn't sleep. And I have never been the best sleeper in the world. Um... And then, through my university years, people were complaining to me about insomnia. And for me, it kind of disappeared at that point. So I thought, that's great. It's gone. We don't have to worry about it again. And I would actually say to people, I don't know how you can't sleep. How can you not sleep? I don't understand it. Well, guess what? I figured it out soon after I left uni. 2013, the year that I left uni, I started with insomnia. I didn't sleep correctly for a total of about six months. And I think that I went to, I went to the doctor about it. And I, I think I originally went because I was having really bad headaches as well. And eventually the doctors were sending me, they were sending me for a blood test and then that got lost. So I had quite a few blood tests, had an MRI scan on my brain. And eventually they gave me amitriptyline, more as a like, pain relief and a um, insomniac a, a, a aid, a sleep aid to help me sleep. And I hadn't originally wanted amitriptyline because, you know, the primary thing of it is that most people use it for an antidepressant. And I hate the fact that antidepressants are so stigmatised, but um, because of that stigma, I really didn't want to be given them because I really didn't want people to see this eventually in the NHS and write off everything I was saying as um, what am I? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, as anyway, and I know that this doesn't happen all the time, but I have seen it happen before to people who have 
it's just been seen that they have been diagnosed with some sort of depression or given an antidepressant in the past and then the doctors have put their subsequent um diagnosis down to the fact that they were um that it's something to do with their depression and sadly i just had insomnia um well no thankfully i just had insomnia i should say thankfully um Anyway, so for the last week, I haven't slept. Um, there's been a few instances where I have finally managed to get asleep about two o'clock in the morning and then kind of get an all right bit of sleep there for, you know, the correct length of time. But it's still not been good sleep. And oh my lord, I, um, I was put back on I'm a trip to lean about two weeks ago. And this time it was because my knee is wearing away, which is good news. And although I am overweight, we all know this, and the doctor has told me that, you know, weight loss would help. He says that he doesn't understand why for my weight and my age, this knee is actually wearing away, which is always fun because I'd like to know why the bone's gone. Um, and I always thought that the amitriptyline being given it back for the pain relief um, might also cause some sort of sleep, but it didn't. And that's, like, I've completely forgotten about the pain relief at the moment because I just want to sleep. It's that bad. Um, I've tried chamomile tea before, but I absolutely despised the dreams that it gave me. I tried Horlicks, hot chocolate, all that fun stuff. All the stuff that they say, turning off your computer and all your devices hours before you go to bed, only having, um, decaffeinated products from after three o'clock in the afternoon. I've tried it all, and nothing will stop the all the rambling thoughts that are going on in my head. Like last night, I was honestly awake thinking over one line that I wanted to talk about in a different video. And ironically, I'm now not making that video because I'm here talking about the fact that I couldn't sleep because I was thinking about that video. And another problem I have is that as soon as I start with these, with this insomnia, that I then get to get stressed out because I'm trying to remember song lyrics. Like, I have had the stupid SNL song, Let's Do It On My Twin Bed, stuck in my head for the entire evening as I tried to remember verses. I didn't need to know that at one o'clock in the morning, but apparently my brain really wanted to know the lyrics to that song. And I <laughs> really annoyed that it did. Um, but yeah, it's been a week and a half. It's been a week and a half since I last slept, and I hate insomnia. I hate it so much. I adore sleep and waking up from a restful sleep. I think most people do, and I would quite like that. I was going to originally, when I first thought about this video on the way to work, tie this into Christmas, and how on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, children can't usually sleep because it's Christmas and they're so excited. I wasn't excited about shit. I was just planned on coming to work and I, it's not even the fact that I've had to come to work that's caused the stress because I wasn't even thinking about work and so people have put it down to like familial stuff you know we've got some stuff going on there but honestly I do think that my body has just decided that it doesn't want to sleep anymore and like originally um, when I started way back when not as a child, when I started with the insomnia again as an adult, I started doing pseudo-cues in bed and working on crosswords because um, they were enough that they kind of relaxed my mind to put me to sleep. But this time around, now I'm older, nothing seems to be working because now one of the insomniatic thoughts that I have is, what if you don't sleep? Or if you fall asleep now, you could do this. And then I think about having to drive to work completely tired. And I think about the fact that I'm driving to work on amitriptyline and having to, because it doesn't really wear off, you still feel a bit groggy in the morning. At least I do. And I'm beginning to think that maybe I should just cut these medications down because they are supposed to just be for pain and focus more on eliminating everything from my life that I find joy in. Um, in the hopes that one of those things is causing me not to be able to sleep. Yeah. Basically, I had no idea what to talk about today. So you've got a ten minute video on the fact that I haven't slept in a week and a half. 
And I don't care whether you haven't slept for however long. I am thoroughly dead on my feet paying extortionate amounts of money for coffee in a flaming paper cup just so that I can function during the day. And I don't think that's right. And hopefully it disappears this week because I am going to hate Tuesday if I come in and, and work for 14 hours only to go home and not sleep because then I may as well just sleep. Well, I may as well just stay here and continue to work through the night. Anyway, <laughs> have you ever had insomnia? Um, have you ever reached the point of not being able to sleep that you question just waking up at two o'clock in the morning and making some soup? Not to eat, just like starting it from scratch, maybe some French onion. I don't know. <sighs> anyway, if you didn't enjoyed this video then please feel free to tell me in the comments i will record that november wrap up at some point i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time that is all